Well, Puapik's been making pottery in Thailand Detroit for over 100 years. We're a national historic landmark pottery, but we know that not everybody can come to the pottery. So we decided to package the pottery and take it on the road. So this allows us, you know, we've created a little mobile museum inside the van. Um, we've built a couple of portable kilns so we can go on the road and like, you know, bring Puapik to the community. We tried a lot of different vans. Uh, initially, we were just looking for something we could transport our kilns around in. Uh, but when we saw the transit, it was like the height and the space, you know, we realized that this could be a whole lot more. And so we were able then to envision turning it into a museum. It was really the, the capacity of it and the comfort. And, you know, just test driving, it was wonderful to drive. Um, we just felt this would be like a, a really easy way to like create this street team program. The benefit of having a mobile education uh, component is our biggest gem, which is our National Historic Landmark building, is also incredibly limiting both in accessibility and, um, and just how many people we can physically fit in the building. So by having a mobile component, we can reach a larger audience and be more inclusive and also just have a more diverse range of offerings. I think what Street Team did in a larger sense and what the van did was um, get us to change the way that we think about Puabic. So it's not just the walls that we're confined within, but it's what we do and the feeling that we can create around the process. And so I really think that the van in this project has helped us realize that. I think the size of it really helps. Um, it really allows us to put as much of our educational material in there as possible. So what I like about the transit is that I can stand up in it. When I was renting some of the other conventional cargo vans, I was, even as a short guy, I was hunched over. Uh, I've got the medium height, uh, there is a taller one, and uh, there's actually a longer one too. And the transit is just easy to walk in, get in, get out, and, and, and move product. Plant Parenting services uh, residential and commercial accounts. Uh, we do restaurants as well. Uh, we take the transit all over the city and uh, deliver flowers to them. I can parallel park it here in the city, which is something that I have to do every day. And it's just an easy truck to drive around the city. It's cheaper to rent a van, but what I was never able to appreciate were the intangibles of signage on the truck and the convenience of being able to just go wherever I want, whenever I want. Since we have a smaller store, um, it was either find a bigger location or try to find a way to expand. And really, when you're searching online and, and everything is going mobile, like the um, food trucks, same idea. Um, it's just really a great way to expand the store to a lot more areas that we would the customers would potentially never see. Um, if they're not in our area where our store is located, so they see the van everywhere, and that actually does bring us, bring us, bring us in business. With the van driving around, it's definitely a moving billboard, so we see um, new customers come in from areas that ordinarily we wouldn't. Um, so we definitely have seen an increase in, in sales, in rentals, and in service with, with the van. It's 100% we've seen an increase.
the transit just was the ultimate package of what I needed. I did a lot of measuring. I did a lot. I went and shopped around them all, and it uh, it came with the dual batteries, the alternator, and things like that that I really liked. But as well as the length and the height, and just test driving it, the transit drives really good, and uh, I was just really happy with it all around.